Welcome to the Learning Tube. <laughs> How's everybody doing? We're going to get started in just a minute. Just looking at my notes real quick. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. We're going to get started in just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Thanks so much for waiting and for being here today. Yes, I'm completely obsessed with AI and how amazing it is. And we're going to do a quick session and I want to show you some amazing things that AI can do. Um, all right. So how's everybody's day going today? I hope your day is fabulous. I hope it's fabulous. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, everybody has ChatGPT, right? If you don't, it's chat.openai.com. Chat.openai.com. Could someone from the team just type that into the chat box for me? Let's make sure that everybody has chat GPT. You don't have to open it right now. I just want to make sure that you have it. Um, I am on the... I'm just looking at questions. I am on the pro plan right now, GPT-4, but you can be on GPT-3.5, which is a, the free plan. That is perfectly fine. Um, let me move myself around here on the screen. And so what I want to do with you guys today is talk about business opportunities and what opportunities are out there for us and how we can work these opportunities with ChatGPT. Um, and with AI in general. So whatever business you are doing or business opportunity you are in, you can use AI to help you write emails, social media campaigns, uh, do prospecting. So if you're you know, trying to keep your LinkedIn active and you're looking to make a post on LinkedIn, who's going to help you write that post on LinkedIn? Say it with me all together. Chatty. <laughs> That's what I call chat GPT. Type that in the chat box. Chatty. It's so much easier to say than chat GPT, right? Chatty. So chatty will help you. How many of you are using chatty already in your life? Just put me in the comments. If you haven't used it yet, put zero. It's okay because I'm just going to get you um, a little bit excited to use chatty. <laughs> a little bit excited to use chatty. So here's what we're going to do. So whatever business you are in, let's say you're doing social media management for clients. So you're going to open up a session in chat GPT. Today, for those of you just joining us, hi, everybody, it's Alicia. Today's session, we're going to be talking about ChatGPT business opportunities. I'm going to um, play a video of one business opportunity that's free to get in that I encourage everybody to get in on, and then... I'll come back, wrap it up after that video plays, and then make sure that everybody gets um, on, in on an opportunity when you've got the tools that can make these things so amazing for you, right? Okay, so let's say that you're doing social media management for a client and you want to be able to do their social media management so much faster. So you're going to go to ChatGPT and you're going to tell ChatGPT about your client. So somebody tell me about a client they have in the chat box. Any client, could be any client that you have, tell me about them in the chat box. And so I'll pick something um, or a client type. And then now you can get ChatGPT to help you to do the content for that client. So what do I mean by that? So you open up ChatGPT and right now you're staring at the blank, blank screen and you're like, okay, what can ChatGPT do, right? All you have to do is ask ChatGPT what you need to ask it <laughs> if you want to do something. So I have a client that I do social media for, and I would like for you to help me with the content creation. Here's the key. Are you paying attention? Here's the key. Do, 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 drum roll. What do I need to give you for you to help me write the social media content? What? Don't think. Like, gone are the days that we stare at a blank screen and think by ourselves. Press enter. Boom. <laughs> so ChatGPT says to help you create effective social media. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger. Trying to move that around. I would need the following information, the client's background, the target audience, the social media platforms your client wants to focus on, and it will give you all of this. And now you're thinking, wow, okay, so I get this. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So client's background, any themes or topics the client wants to highlight in their social media content. I like it so far. The tone and voice of their social. That's really great. Frequency and schedule. So basically, also, how many posts do you want? Um, and visuals and multimedia. Any information on the visuals or multimedia that should be used and incorporated, brand guidelines, that's a good one, performance metrics, and you don't have to have all of this. Like, just give it as much as you can. So let's do work for a cupcake shop. So we're going to call it Raina's Cupcakes. Hi, Raina. <laughs> Raina's Cupcakes is my client. They are in Winter Park, Florida, and have been in business for um, five years, making amazing cupcakes. Raina, can you even make cupcakes? <laughs> okay, making amazing cupcakes. <laughs> um, of course, Raina can. Making amazing cupcakes, period. So that's a little bit about their black background. The owner is Raina, a mom of four and a wife. Her family loves her cupcakes. So so she started making them for friends and the demand grew into the thriving business we now know as Raina's Cupcakes. Her audience is mostly women and children, although men always buy them as gifts. Okay. She wants me to create post for her Instagram and Facebook. Are you guys following me? So what am I doing right now? So I asked ChatGPT, I have a client that I want to do social media for. I'd like for you to help me with the content creation. What do I need to give you for you to help me write the social media content? It told me. And so I'm just typing up some things. In the essence of time, I won't type it all up, okay? She wants me to create posts for Instagram and Facebook. She is super fun and has a friendly style and tone just like her color full and fun cupcakes <laughs> um so create five social media posts that um promote buying cupcakes at this time of the year, which is the spring. Um, she has a buy three, get one free special going on right now as well. All right, let's just leave it with that. I could, you know, keep going, but it's a hair of five social media posts for Raina's Cupcakes to promote their spring cupcakes and the current buy three, get one free special. Spring has sprung and so have our flavors. Ooh, that is good. Come celebrate the season at Raina's Cupcakes with our colorful and delicious spring themed cupcakes. Perfect for picnics, parties, or just to treat yourself. Buy three cupcakes and get one free. Hurry, this sweet deal won't last long. Hmm. Brighten your up your day with Raina's Cupcakes. Our delightful spring-themed cupcakes are the perfect way to embrace the season. Bring home these tasty treats for the whole family to enjoy. And remember, buy three, get one free. Oh, that is... Look at that. Buy three, get one free. Post number three. Flutter into Raina's Cupcakes for an unbelievably delicious spring cupcakes. Feeling vibrant colors and mouth-watering flavors treat. These treats are perfect for your next get together or to brighten up your day. Buy three cupcakes and get the fourth on us. So you can see that with ChatGPT, so much is possible. And if you're already doing business with a client, then 
You can offer new services thanks to ChatGPT. The sky is the limit. And you can also use this as a foot in the door strategy for other business opportunities. So the business opportunity I really wanted to talk to you about today is one that we've been talking about a lot this week. I just did a special, amazingly fun class um, earlier this week on it. And that is, and I'll tell you how to get that class. Um, and that is the ERTC program. And in the ERTC program, um, the ERTC program is the employee ER, employee retention tax credit. And so that's where you can go to a business. And if they have between, I think it's five and 500 W-2 employees. And uh, during COVID, they were paying their employees. They can get tax credit back for what they paid their employees. And it's not a loan. It's just money they get back from the government. Freaking amazing. Like what business wouldn't want that? But one of the hardest things for people sometimes is, you know, getting their foot in the door to talk to a client. So an easy way to get their foot in the door would be like, hey, if if they're not active on social media, be like, hey, my name is Alicia. And um, I eat at your cupcake shop all the time, Raina. I just you know, wrote some social media post for you, just my gift to you. I can, I see that you haven't posted anytime soon and I know content creation can be the hardest part. So here's some posts that I made up for you and then put it in her inbox and be like, let me know if you need anything else. And then a few days later, she'll respond and say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. What else can you do? A few days later, you can say, well, the other thing I do is I help businesses, you know, leverage um, their, you know, funding and financing, but I also am get helping businesses to get money back from the government. Did you uh, cash in on your ERTC tax credit yet? I can help you with that. And if she says, no, tell me more, then boom, you got a client. So, you know, you could do something like this as a great foot in the door strategy. So um, on Tuesday, and I will play the video for ERTC in just two minutes. Just be patient. I know you're ready. On Tuesday, I did do a special class with um, ERTC. Sorry about that. Um, okay, I did a special class for ERTC. And I came up with all of this different type of content for ERTC. You know, how you can do blog posts and... Um, here's the social media post that it came up with for this business model. And it, when I play the video for you, you will see that you can sign up for the business model absolutely free. So there's nothing to sell you on this session at all. It's all free. So you sign up for the ERT session and then you get to learn about how to do this. Um, and then I talk on Tuesday how you can use ChatGPT to really push this business. I was like showing Facebook ad creation, radio commercial creation, press release creation. I even showed how to translate it into Dutch, and which is its other languages. We created a seven-part email series and so much more. So I'm going to play the video on ERTC so you can dive in a little bit more to the opportunity. And then you guys, going to get a link to sign up for ERTC. It's free, right? Free. Sign up for ERTC. And then what I'll do is I'll give you all of the notes from this session and the recording. It's an hour. So that now that you're in the program, you can see how to take the opportunity to the next level with chat GPT, because that's what I was teaching. So you'll get that recording and you will get the um, the notes, which I all put in a Google Doc. And you won't have to do anything. Once you sign up for ERTC, we'll ask that program just to give us your name and email. And then we will sign you up. We will get you the... Uh, the notes and the recording. If you are already in ERTC through us, you should already have gotten this. You should have already been on the session and gotten the replay. If you didn't, you can always email us at our help desk. Okay. So got it. <laughs> Raina, can you drop the email to the help desk? You guys know it's help desk at little support.com. Okay. So let me go ahead and play that video. Now it's going to give like five minutes for a transition and then I mean, five seconds, <laughs> five seconds for transition. We'll play the video, video, which is, um, and then I'll come back, back to you at the end of the hour. So we won't even be here for a full hour. So I'll be back 
And um, if you have any questions or anything while this is going on, just type it into the chat so the team can answer your questions. All right, let's turn on that video. Let's dive in. Enough chit chat, you guys. I'm going to get to the point really quick, right? And then I'll give you supporting information, but the point will take me 10 minutes, but then I will support the point with other information and then we'll answer questions and stuff. Yeah, a bunch of you, a lot of people just joined, about another 75 or 100 of you. Really quick, you guys, stay involved, stay engaged. There's nothing to sign up. Put your wallet, your credit card, your PayPal away. Um, just enjoy and see if what we're doing resonates. It's completely free. Um, all right, awesome. So all of you, you know, we live in a unique time. Elise and Lorette have done some amazing things teaching people how to be entrepreneurs, how to make money online, right? From micro work to uh, almost anything you can uh, think of. Listen to this. Could you imagine, those of you over 45 or so, could you imagine when we were young in like say high school, that you could download an app to your phone and immediately get a job where you can earn real money right away? Think about it. You could download an app and be an entrepreneur immediately. It's pretty fascinating to me. Like, I don't often think about it. You could start a business, which is kind of what I chose to do. You could buy investment property, right? There's all these things we can all do to make money. Um, lots of stuff in the marketing arena. And I'll be honest, Alicia Lorette, they've crushed it in this video. Like I look at the word on the screen, social media, they've crushed it. Um, but in the beginning, there was no social media in the beginning, right? On the first day, right? There was websites. Ugh. For me, it's an ugh now, but back in the day in the nineties, this was the coolest thing on the planet, you guys. This was the sizzle. This was chat GBT. This was AI. At the beginning, web design was where it was at. Search optimizations, SEO. Think about this. It's played out a little bit, right? It's flooded with people, mostly me too kind of people. But at the end of the day, massive value over the years here. All these things online. Affiliate marketing. Give me like a give me a one if you've ever dabbled in affiliate marketing in any way. Whether you're you know a rock star or you just sort of goofed around with it a little bit. Yeah, a lot of you guys. All right. A lot of people dabbled. I like it. Okay, Sean. Good. All right. Social media. I'm not even gonna touch this. We got two queens of social media on the call. Um, mobile marketing, reputation marketing. These are things for local businesses, right? Things you might do for a business. Lead generation. Now, I have dabbled in this one and SEO and websites the most, probably, and affiliate marketing. What I want to talk to you, though, today is going to be the, the connection, the integration of affiliates and lead gen. Um, like all these things we're talking about from Uber on, they're really awesome. On the marketing side, when you work with clients, there's this mm, awful word. It's called but, <laughs> right? And the reason I say but is awesome as all these things are, one of the challenges that you will run into, if you haven't already, is that when you try to sell something to a business, not all the businesses know they need what you're selling. And not all the marketers know how to provide the actual service they're selling. So there's like this massive disconnect, right? Um, and, and this disconnect is why so many people struggle. Yeah, Chris said it. Thank you, Chris. Chris said, Brian, I spent tons of money. I've never made anything real. Is if you could spend nothing and make several thousand dollars, Chris, uh, just give me a yes if that would be real. Because to me, it would be real. What you just said is real to me. Spent lots of money and haven't made anything real. Chris said yes emphatically with caps. All right. Stay with me, you guys. Because what I want to tell you about is you have to have, we have to have something where the value exceeds the price. Otherwise, it's kind of hard. Honest. Like, I'm an extroverted introvert. I think that's probably fair to say. 
Like when I'm around Alicia and Loretta, who I know, I'm like super outgoing and extroverted. But I was at an event in Tallahassee the last two days, like a chamber, state of, state of Florida chamber meeting. Oh, it was the worst. I didn't know anybody. And I had to like, I had to be all plugged in and connected. It was hard for me. So if you're able to, I'm going to say this right now. If you could move out of your comfort zone, whatever it is. So Brian Tracy said this a while back. If you can move out of that comfort zone, if you're willing to get awkward and uncomfortable, just say me. If you are willing, if, only say it if you are, are you willing to feel awkward and uncomfortable when you try something new? So if it meant you could achieve, Chris, I'm going to pick on you because you know you had a great comment and we were just chatting. If you could hit what you were trying to hit, Chris, and you knew you could do it, but you had to put yourself out there and get a little awkward, get a little uncomfortable, would you do it? Would you be willing to do it? A lot of you are. I love it, Christy Erickson, well said. All I could think is when I was like in eighth grade, um, don't make fun of me, Lorette, <laughs> or Alicia, I was at a dance, like the middle school dance. I think I had to go. I went with a buddy or two of mine. And there was like a slow song and I had to like, Put myself out there. I had to be awkward and uncomfortable and walk up and ask somebody to dance. I never forget that moment. Um, I, oh, yeah, it was crazy. So um, if you're willing to, which a lot of you are, you can actually really be successful. There is nothing holding you back. You have to keep a few things in mind. You have to deliver massive value. You have to be willing to go a little bit more than the next person. And, and I, you guys are, I'm reading it. I mean, I'm seeing it. So what's unique about what we're doing and why Alicia Lorette uh, allowed me to come on today is I'm not selling anything. What I'm doing, I'm going to call it a program to keep it simple. What I'm doing is easy to explain. One sentence, pretty easy. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be an expert at all. All right. It has the great potential value to not only the business, but to each of you. Like Chris, when I said, if you could spend nothing and make thousands, would that interest you? And he said, yes. So that's what I'm talking about right now. How can we do that? Nora, so well said. Nora Karambat, I agree. All right. I want I want you guys to imagine. So. Let's see if Alicia is muted. I'm gonna find her. Hang in. Alicia, are you still here? She's muted. All right, I won't pick on her. I'm unmuted. Okay, you're unmuted. Okay. So March of 2020, I vividly remember March 6th to the 9th of 2020. I was in Rockville, Maryland at that webinar con event with Onik and uh, Ron and uh, Andy. Me and you and J Bell and uh, so many other people, right? So we were there. Now you guys, we were in our own little bubble. We we're staying at this hotel. It was a Marriott, right? The one by the, that water right behind it? I can't remember, Sheraton, it was a Marriott. Sheraton or a Marriott, yeah. yeah. And there was like some restaurants behind it. You had to walk around like this little mini lake and stuff, but we were at this event and it was at a, a, a nearby office. And so we'd take a shuttle bus over. And then in the evening, we all went and got food together or groups went and got food. But we were completely outside of the our normal, right? We were, we were in, in our own little world for a couple of days. So when I left there, I, I wanna say it was Sunday night or Monday. I think it might've been Monday morning. Yeah, I went to Reagan National Monday morning and I get there and I'm at the airport and everybody, 80% of the people had masks on at the airport. And I, I was like, where are we? What is going on? Like, obviously, I had heard of the coronavirus and COVID because of, you know, what had been happening in um, at the time in China, right? Um, the, you know, there was a lot of news and then some stuff in Italy that was happening, but it hadn't really reached the U.S. So I want you to imagine that week, right when everything was changing. So I remember it well because I was with Alicia. I was at this event and I remember being there in my own little world. And then all of a sudden, 
like one little thing changes everything. Now this was, you know, obviously for the worse, you know, people, people died, people got sick. I mean, it was horrific. Millions of people worldwide lost their jobs. Think of the, the, think of all the negative things that came out of this, right? A lot of negative stuff. So let's, let's think, let's think about this, right? That week was the beginning of COVID. The government in America, for those of you that are Americans, responded. <laughs> Glenn, I know. I feel you, Glenn. Um, I have to keep, I'm trying to keep it straight. Um, they came out with something called the Paycheck Protection Program. And the reason they did this, they, they, they passed a law in March called the CARES Act, March of 20. And it was designed to infuse money into businesses so that all the workers in America wouldn't lose their jobs. That's kind of what they did. They did it twice. Now, what's cool about this, we're tying this into money right now. I said I get to the point. Millions of businesses received a piece of the pie. This pie was 659 billion. That's how much money these businesses got, right? Fair. But these were like forgivable loans. And we're not here to talk about PPP other than to, I want to get your head thinking about this. And some of you are not in the US. So a lot of businesses, a large percentage, I don't have a real number, qualified for them. It helped these people. It helped these business owners and their employees and their families and the community. Awesome. That's what happened. The bummer is they went away. They ended. Second round was gone, May of 2021. But this same law, right? You know, we always bash politicians. If we're Democrats, we bash Republicans. If we're Republicans, we bash Democrats. If we're uh, independents, we might bash both of them in the U.S. at least. <laughs> and listen to this, guys. The CARES Act was actually kind of brilliant because I want you to imagine something where President Trump, the Democrats, the Republicans, and the independents actually all worked together, agreed on something, and it, and it massively helped people. Massively helped people. And it was called the CARES Act, and it put this, P this PPP money out in the world, but it went away. However, the employee retention tax credit was created in March of 2020, just like the PPP. The problem is everybody did the PPP and originally they had a choice. They had a choice of one or the other. And I see the question already. I made this slide for when John, somebody asked this question. Yes, government entitlement, free program designed to infuse cash or capital into small businesses. So you remember when I said it has to have massive value. Give me a one if you would agree free money to business owners, right? And I always say free with a caveat, but free money to business owners would actually get them interested, right? Who on the call is not interested in getting a free influx of cash? All of us. Yeah, yeah you guys are with me. A lot of people. All right. So here's the deal. The thing changed in the spirit of government, especially the these political people that like to argue with each other and everybody else, this thing changed four or five times. Originally, you would get 50% of the first 10,000 in qualified wages. So you'd get five grand an employee. So imagine a pizza place. Alicia, remember we, you and me, Greg, uh, Rebecca, we had pizza at that little restaurant and they probably had 15, 20 employees, roughly. We did, yeah. Okay, so 15 employees, say 15. Five grand each, $75,000. Nothing to scoff at, but maybe it doesn't get you excited. I mean, I'd be excited for what it's worth. <laughs> but if they got a PPP, they couldn't get this other bucket of money. The business could only get one at the time. And this was kind of a bummer because it ruled out tens of millions of businesses that still needed help. Well, the good news, if you can believe it, is government got together one more time a year later. You'd think this was an internet marketing launch, you guys. They named it the America American Rescue Plan Act. And it, you want excitement? This thing was exciting. Millions and billions to schools, to communities, and additional COVID-19 relief for businesses. I'm only gonna focus on the small business stuff that, that, uh, that we focus on. 
So this thing amended, expanded, enhanced this original program called Employee Retention Tax Credit. So all right, government, they got it right twice. You're thinking, oh my gosh. Well, now, now businesses that had received the PPP are eligible or were eligible as of uh, March of 21 to receive this other bucket of money. Awesome. <laughs> Toriana, I know. I mean, I know I'm a little jaded, but you know, it's just true, right? So I want you to imagine businesses could get this free money for a period of time from 2020 to 2021, right? Six quarters for the most businesses. There's, there's caveats and exclusions, but six quarters for most businesses. Quarter three months, yep, like uh, January to March would be a quarter one. So now, Alicia and I were at this pizza place with 15 employees. At 5,000, they were getting $75,000. Well, then they changed the rules, right? This is government. Now they're giving out 26 grand. Now the key phrase is up to, up to 26 grand per W-2 employee. So that same 15, somebody smarter than me can multiply 15 by 26, right? 260, I don't know, 300, almost $400,000 for the same place. So a massive infusion of additional monies to business owners. Bianca, I knew you were in South Africa. I don't know why, I knew that. Are you in Joburg? Remind me where you are. Okay, so, so how much money can a business get? There you go, up to 26,000. That does not mean, notice those secret bad words, up to. That means they might get 26. It's more than likely they're gonna get less. All right, let's just keep it real. More than likely they'll get less. So now you're thinking, Brian, get to the point. You're starting to bore me. The government is giving aid money out that businesses don't have to pay back. Great, I'm happy for them. How does it help me? Or Bianca may be thinking, I'm in South Africa. How the heck does this help me? So Cape Town, I love it, okay. All right, you know, I wanted to see the penguins did not make it there next trip, but okay, free money, how does it help me? How does it help Alicia, Lorette, Brian, Bianca, Toriana, all of you? One, most businesses in America, even now, marketers are gonna be like, I've heard of this. Well, most businesses don't know about it, fact. Two, it's hard, it's complicated. It's far beyond my skill to be able to do on my own. It's far beyond what the average business owner can do. And so when things are hard and when people don't know about it, there, there comes an opportunity, right? I want you to think affiliate. I want you to think exposing them and connecting, being a connector, right? There's an opportunity to kind of play a key role. So once again, I want to mention again, it's hard. I gave a presentation, don't laugh at me, but last fall at the American Institute of CPAs, or certified public accountants. And the majority of the CPAs knew very little about the program. I was fascinated. They had heard of it, but they knew very little about it. So I've known this for many years. I had a mentor in one of my early jobs and he taught me, he said, Brian, don't run from, you know, I was like, man, this is gonna be hard, the solution. And he said, when something's hard, you don't have to run. It really creates an opportunity. And this guy was teaching me all these different things about how complexity is, isn't necessarily bad, it's actually good. Um, so I want you to think about the gold rush back in the day. So the miners, we always hear about the miner, 49er, all the stories about the miners. I don't care if it's the California gold rush, if it's the Alaskan gold rush, the one in North Carolina, even the one here in Georgia, there's lots of gold rushes. But during these gold rushes, the miners typically need help. They need supplies. They need things like picks and shovels and Levi jeans, right? Guess where Levi Strauss came from? Guess where that phrase came from? Sell the picks and shovels, right? It came from this. So watch this. Oh, I love this little re. Very, very, very true. I'm gonna come back to that actually at a later point. Um, I'm glad you brought that up. So 
Well, small businesses like the miners still need help. We all may think the economy has rebounded, and it has in the U.S. Um, to a degree. But I want you to think of the business owner that ran up 100, 200,000 of debt, loans, credit cards, whatever. I want you to think of the business owner that did that and went out of business, one, and the one that did that and stayed in business. Yeah, and their business has come back, but they're still carrying a massive load of debt and they're struggling to get out from under it, right? They need help. So the net net is how can how does this help us? They need you and me, Stephanie, Lori, uh, Jackie, all of you, right? To help connect them with this free money, to help them one figure out are they eligible, and two how they can go after it. So each of you have a superpower that I'm about to bestow upon you. Um, there's no cost for the superpower. You have the ability to help American entrepreneurs. Each of us, I consider an entrepreneur in our own way, right? You have the ability to help American entrepreneurs get access to money from the government that is not required to be paid back. And a very large percentage of them will not even know about it. I want you to think about that for a second. The number one way to be successful in business is to solve a problem. Would you guys agree that if you could solve a problem, what's a restaurant do? Well, that pizzeria gives us our fix of pizza or the burger place, the burgers, or right? We wanna go out to eat, it gives us a solution, but if you can solve somebody's problem, you're at a good point. All right, so I knew I could do this. I knew, knew, knew it, um, but I'm gonna be real honest. I am not a tax guy. I'm not an audit professional. And more than likely, 95% of you are not either. There are probably some of you that are, so I'm gonna leave out 100. I wanted to be more than an affiliate in this case because I, I knew I had something to offer that they, they these other guys didn't have. I needed to be a strategic partner. Um, I spoke with countless firms. I found the best company I could find, ignoring marketers. I'm a marketer. I love marketers, but I don't love marketers to do accounting. <laughs> I love marketers to do marketing, right? I think we can all agree. Um, all right. I cut a deal for money, more money, more support, a seat at the table, and direct access to the team. And that's what happened. All right. Now, you may be thinking, Brian, it's great. I live in the U.S. I don't live in the U.S. I see. I kind of get what you're doing. You're basically referring business to CPA firms and getting paid, yes. You're thinking, I'm not a business. How much money can I make? How much money can I make? So on average, the referrals pay you between 1.8 and 4% of the amount collected for the business. And there are all kinds of reasons why it varies. Uh, you know, one one is the fee the business pays. If they pay up front, they pay less. If they if they defer the payment, they pay more, et cetera, right? All right. So you're making a couple points on however much they're getting. So I didn't have permission to use all these businesses' information. So this is my younger brother's air conditioning company, Anderson Air in Pensacola, Florida. If you happen to live there, I do recommend it. And if you talk to my brother, tell him you want a discount. <laughs> Tell him you're on a webinar with me and you told, I told him that he has to. Um, he would laugh so hard. But um, so a typical business, you can see my brother's place. He's got four or five trucks, I think. I think they got five now. I think they got 11 employees. 11 employees. Husband and wife, he and his wife, nine other employees. I'm going to tell you, he got, does anybody know what he got? 11 employees? What do you guys think? And then I'll tell you. Just take a guess. It's all right. No matter what you say, it won't be wrong. Oh, yeah. 10,000. Nope. It's a good one, Faith. 250, 200, Stephanie and Kimberly, 100,000. Okay, he got 204,000. Kimberly was pretty close. $204,000 because he kept his employees on the payroll. $204,000. So let's, let's do some math. 
So I made this slide apparently on December 18th. I should re redo the slide. I sampled 432 recent deals. I mean, we've done thousands and thousands of deals. So I sampled some recent deals. The average deal, the average money back to the business over this sample group was $159,108.85. Now I want you to imagine if somebody helped you get $159,000, you're gonna be pretty happy. Can we all agree? You're gonna be pretty happy if you were the business owner, really happy. Now I want you to look on the far right. The largest deal in this specific sample size was 2.2 million and it was a nonprofit. How many of you feel you're passionate about nonprofits, charities, churches, or doing good by others. Is that something that interests you? Do you feel do you feel good warmth when you hear about people doing that kind of work? Wait till I tell you what this this specific business was. Bianca's like, yeah, a lot of you guys. I okay, this is good. Hey Joe Jabonsk, I see Joe. I see a lot of people here. Uh, okay. Largest deal. 2.2 million. You ready for this? I want you to imagine what $2.2 million can do for a charity that helps the homeless and provides prenatal care to homeless women. That was the deal. A California charity, I don't want to name the name, but a California charity that did this work. Pretty awesome. $2 million. Now, Obviously the agent, the person who referred it was remunerated and they made a nice amount of money. So the lowest payout to, to somebody like Faith or Stephanie or Toriana or Alicia or Brian or Lorette, the lowest payout on a typical deal, an average size deal would be $2,800. So Tom, I think it was you earlier, right? My friend, I don't think it was Tom. Am I wrong? Earlier, we were talking about not being successful and not making money. I want you to think about what if you could help somebody for free, help somebody for free, and you could get $2,863. And what if I told you that was the lowest payout that you could possibly receive on that deal? The highest payout on the same size deal was $7,159. Think about that. You could make somewhere between $2,800 and $7,100. Right? Not, not too shabby. And you may be thinking, why the range? Well, funny enough, it's about choice for the business. Some businesses pay less in fees. Some businesses pay more, right? And there's a bunch of reasons behind it, but that, that's why there's a range. So as you can see, depending on the amount collected, it could be a substantial check payment to you, right? I'm trying, hey, you guys, I know this is kind of boring because I am not hyping you at all. I hope you see that. I, there is no hype here. Everything I'm giving you is the straight scoop. Straight scoop, facts. Now, the next question you should have in your mind is, can I do this? All right, let me answer it. Nora asked it. I said, if somebody asked, I would answer it. How much did the person who referred that nonprofit for 2.2 million get paid? The gentleman from Michigan received 99,200 and some odd dollars, if I remember. And, and it was so close to 100, I uh, I rounded it up and made sure he got $100,000. Pretty awesome. So, but can you do it? Because what good is it whether you have to pay or it's free if you can't do it, right? Can you do it? That, my friends, is important. Yeah, and the guy is super nice. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to meet him for the first time. I have a live event on March 8th, and I'm going to meet him. I've never met him. Um, okay, so I, I drew something on a napkin and I cannot draw, I cannot color, and I don't do graphics. But fortunately, Vanessa on my team made me this. Um, basically, 
if you identify prospects, step one, refer them to your website, step two, done. That's all you have to do. If you decide to get more involved and do a little bit more, you can make more money. Crazy, right? That's it. Now, Little Reese said, holy guacamole. I love guacamole, by the way. I wish that was me. Well, we've had hundreds and hundreds of members do similar stuff. That happened to be one of the biggest ever, truthfully. Let me show you what real people are saying. I said that I, I am not going to share any money that I made because that's not real for everybody else. Let me keep it real. So I've got people in general are really happy. I mean, I would probably be happy too. In general, I get thank you letters, Christmas cards, um, generally nice messages and emails because people are happy. Larry, this guy is awesome. Um, he's, a, he's a little bit of a pessimist. But we literally do 95% of the work for the members. Not all, but 95% of the work. He's right. Scott, who I never met, but I've chatted with online, um, he ran it by his CPA, his own CPA. His CPA loved it, said, I think you should do this, Scott. So pretty cool. Um, that for those that are willing to put themselves out there and engage and participate, you can do this. You can, just like Ray did, Ray Powell. He helped a deli restaurant with 33 employees or Susan had helped a small doctor's office. Amanda helped, I still don't know what this is, but an eyelash extension business. I mean, I guess I can imagine it. I don't understand it. Um, Mark, this guy's been beast mode. I think he's done like 60 deals or something. This was his first one. Notice these are different people, all walks of life, all parts of the country, international, all making money. They just come in day after day after day, 20 members getting a new deal on the day I took the screenshot. Think about that. Well, listen, it doesn't always go well. You know, I've been on webinars too. Man, everything's sunshine and rainbows, right? Remember, five steps. Refer them, website, done, or you can do more and earn a higher percentage. So remember, it's really as easy as these steps. That easy. And step one and two is all you really have to do. So before we finish this thing up, how many of you get what we're doing and you think this is pretty awesome? You don't have to, but if you do, let me know. Because listen, one, there's no money. You don't have to pay anything at all. There's no credit card. I'm not gonna ask you for a credit card, et cetera. Um, if you're excited about it, it's real. <laughs> Tamika said, Brian, I do believe this is awesome. It's very doable, like a few of you, right? Frankie said, explain what a person, okay, yeah, I will, Frankie, let me do it. Excited to try, hard to believe this is true. It, I agree with that. Hard to believe this is true is very fair. So this is as real as it gets. So I wanna introduce our company, uh, ERTC Express. So employee retention tax credit, right? I'm gonna tell you some goods and bads though in a second. This is one of the largest firms in the country focused exclusively on this. Heavily focused around compliance. I'm a big believer in doing the right thing. In this case, certified public accountant. So we have CPAs that work for the company and they do the work. There's no work done by any marketer like Brian because I'm not qualified to do this work. So this is our office in Tampa, Florida. We're the third floor, majority of the third floor of that building. I am in the Atlanta office. Um, we have a Miami and New York location. We've all but shut down Nashville, but we still have the offices there. Just trying to show you that it is real, right? Um, what do we do? We, we do one thing and we'll hopefully do it well, which is help businesses qualify for this tax credit, the ERTC tax credit. Here's some of the team. You'll see uh, myself kind of left center. In the middle is our CEO, that's John Sousa. Well, yeah. we focus on compliance. We're not gonna rubber stamp a business just to make money. I have no involvement in whether a company's qualified or not. 
all our files are evaluated by CPAs. And that's important. If you don't live in the US, uh, it's like, like a chartered financial accountant in the UK or in other parts of the world. This is the highest level accounting designation. And these are experts that are allowed to practice before the Internal Revenue Service in America. Um, now, who are we really? If you want to look at a website, we are the wholesale. So Express, we're the wholesale side of ERTC.com. We've got thousands of team members across the country. We've got a core team of CPAs. We've got an elaborate process to protect payments and commissions. Uh, what is the agent program, guys? It's really, and, I, and that's the collective guys, that's the guys and gals, um, exclusive affiliate system designed to allow you to refer small businesses. You get commission on every deal that's approved and paid out by the government. Um, right now we're batting 100%. There's been no turndowns. Unique product offering. Many businesses, not all, but many, are unaware this even exists. You can partner with our team to do all the work and make all the money with the least amount of hassle. So ertcexpress.com forward slash Alicia, right? It's really that easy. You can sign up. If you've signed up already, just say, I signed up. i just curious. I'm just curious. All right, guys, pretty straightforward, right? ERTCexpress.com forward slash Alicia. ERTCexpress.com forward slash Alicia. So this is where you're headed to right now. The link is also in the chat. It's completely free to sign up. No strings attached. Just completely free to sign up to get all the training you need and that kind of stuff. And then remember, as a bonus, I will give you all of our training that we did on ChatGPT and ERTC so you can take things to the next level. See, ChatGPT is great with a business opportunity, like something to use it with. So this is a perfect opportunity for that. All right, if you have any questions, type them in the chat box for the team and let's see what you guys need. Uh, go to the website. Okay, so I'm on the website. Um, so here's how you fill it in. You're just going to put in your first name, your last name, your preferred email, your country, right? Uh, your preferred phone number, and your ERTC Express Field Agent ID. This is confusing. I just say put in your first name. So you can change that if you want to. Um, but this goes up on the like the website that they create for you. So I put my first name, but you could put... Orlando ERTC if you wanted or just but just put your first name for now and you can change it later and then you're going to click register when you're done type done in the chat right now all you guys are doing is you are on this page and you are going to fill out this application and say done and then remember what you will get from us. Um, give us a few days, probably like on Monday, you will get, if you're watching this live, <laughs> it'll be on Monday when you will get your bonuses. So we'll make sure that we get um, from ERTC Express, we'll get everybody who signed up. And then on Monday, we'll have the team send out to everybody at once all of their bonuses. If you've already signed up through us, through for ERTC, you're just sending us an email. Just reply to the Learning Tube email and we'll get it and let us know. We'll look you up, and then we'll send you our bonuses. So I hope that this helps. All right, guys, you've got about 10 minutes to um, finish filling out this application, which literally just takes you a few seconds. So the chat is in. The link to sign up is in the chat. Do it now. Let's go do it now. I want to make sure that you guys do it now and we're wrapping it up. So if you do not do this now and you don't sign up, don't ask me if you can do it next month and get the bonuses. Like I got to wrap up things with my team. So I want to say, let's do it all now. So my team can all send out the message on Monday and everyone is taken care of. We'd like to know that everyone is taken care of. So do it now, right now, fill out the form now. And that way we know everyone's taken care of on Monday. It's free. Like, what do you have to lose? Everybody, unless you're in the program already, everybody should fill this out. Okay. So you've got 10 minutes and then this will shut down. But I'm going to go ahead and um, 
hop off of this screen. Just put down a countdown timer. Um, Raina, if you can put up a, a 10 minute countdown timer. And then after that is over, we're closing out the webinar and just turning it off. So I just want to put that on in case you need support from our team. They are in the chat, but you shouldn't need any support. The link is in the chat fill out the form, you're good to go, right? If you do need some follow-up or help or something, can't access the form and you want us to do something, I mean, let us know in the chat and we will follow up, all right? So it was good to have you guys here. Remember, ChatGPT, aka Chatty, is your friend. Team up Chatty with a great business opportunity and you are gold. (laughs) I love ERTC and what it's done for so many people. So I'm excited to see what it will do for you. Have fun in the program, make a lot of money and uh, come pick me up in your private jet. All right, (laughs) bye for now.